We have uh, three Superman behind the pens with us. Also, Roberta <laughs> Flack and Herbie Mann stay here. Let me introduce you. Now, I'm going to take a little time in setting up the introductions, and we might want to look at some of their work while I'm doing this. Here is Robert Grossman. He graduated from Yale, worked as a cartoon editor before becoming a freelance illustrator and a cartoonist in 1965. Currently, he's a contributing editor to New York Magazine, has worked for Time, Newsweek, Esquire, and many others. Uh, his political and social car caricature has dominate the covers of news magazines. It's been said that this man has the power to change the way we perceive reality by one glimpse of his caricatures, Robert Grossman. And I think that's true about political cartoonists. They used to say that Richard Nixon hated to see the cartoons of himself. And you've done many on many of them, right, Robert? Well, it, uh, it's one of the ways that people are able to formulate a, a shorthand impression of these people through what the cartoonists do. Right. Also with us, Paul Rigby. Paul Rigby Hi. has been a cartoonist for the past 28 years, a native of Australia. Uh, let's see, I've got so much written down on you. Where, where, would you, where would you characterize most of your work these days? Um, well, I'm drawing for the New York Post at the moment. On page but, uh, six. Yeah, sure. Quite page right. Page six, you. which, uh, by the way, we should really congratulate Claudia Cohen, who has moved from page six editor <laughs> over to the Daily News, and, and say hello to, to uh, Cindy Stivers, right? That's right. Yeah, who was the right. new editor of page six. At the top of page six, there was a full spread across the page cartoon every day. Paul, now it's a one day, you've got to get one every day, and it's a sure, big one every right. day, right? Mm -hmm. We've got some of them here. If you want to take a look at just, just a, f a few of, uh, of Paul's works over here on the right, if we could connect with one or two of them. It's sort of this division, isn't it? Yeah. Can we <laughs> maybe punch up one of these cartoons? No. No. On the right. On the, right. the cartoons on the right. I'm determined to get this right. Okay. Do you want, do you want to read? Do you want to give us the, the line? A rundown the, on that. I, um, I forget what the line was. I forgot what I did yesterday, really. But <laughs> <laughs> that was yesterday. Uh, this was, line the, about this was the Billy Gate thing. Yeah, sure. I don't know whether you would agree with that, Roberta. But uh, I'm trying to see. I can't really see. It was prior to the um, the open convention uh, debates, and uh, will someone please read? We have the line? a Billy Goat there, actually, charging down behind uh, behind the president. You know. Yeah. Oh, yes, he was being questioned on the, the press conference. Yes, I, I remember, recall seeing that yes, now that you yeah. explained it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And also with us is Pat Oliphant. Pat Oliphant is an Aust also an Australian. He joined the Denver Post in 1964. The Washington Star in 1975 has been voted by his peers. He's won the Pulitzer Prize and the Sigma Delta Chi Award uh, in 1967. Uh, welcome, all of you. Thank you. I Thank you. enjoy very much political cartoons and I think they have an enormous impact. You have been drawing since we came on the air. Can you show us a little bit about w what you've been working well, on? You can if you tell us where to show it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Can we hand it to you? Maybe we could hand it to yeah, you. Hand it to me. Maybe. Right. It was, hand, okay. well, that's, that's the, that's the Roberta deal. Hand in our stuff. <laughs> uh, Pat, I'll hand take in stuff. I love it. 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 Like, oh, uh, this is too uh, funny. Here we have Pat's and, <laughs> and we, have, we have little Jimmy down here, right? And who is this? Thank God he got that. Roberta. <laughs> this is Roberta. Of course. And Jimmy is saying, I'll never lie to you. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's too great. And this one is, let's see, who do we have here? We have almost everybody there, the full cast. We got Roberta. <laughs> right. Does she know Teddy? and abide with me? I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's great. And here we've got, uh, uh, she's mine. Do you hear all mine? That's good. That's hot. What else? That's too cute. <clears throat> this is. Uh, yeah, you explain it here. I'll, I'll hold it. You, you talk about uh, no, it. It's better if you do it. Uh, it is. Cartoonist explaining his own work. <laughs> yes, it's you shouldn't. It's not good. You're the well, words I'm, man. I'm we have well, at least line. hand me one. <laughs> <laughs> this is Roberta Flack <laughs> All right. as a star for Carter. Not much to it except there's Roberta I love that. and Jimmy. That's wonderful. That's the ones you want to keep. <clears throat> I want to keep all of them. Yeah, <laughs> you can, you can, you can, we can give it a Roberta. Here's Herbie Mann. Tootling for John Anderson, who is uh, kind of lifting off the ground. He's a little unworldly, uh, some people think, Anderson. And he's <laughs> kind of rising off the ground. Here. <laughs> Here's another version of uh, Herbie as a bird, because flute was pretty hard to draw, actually. <laughs> and this, this has nothing like to do with what, uh, what uh, <laughs> this next one. 
I understand that George Bush uh, yesterday said that he thought C Reagan and Carter were neck and neck. And uh, so that's uh, George Bush <laughs> with Reagan's <That's> neck <laughs> and uh, Carter's neck. Oh, I love it. That's wonderful. This is all since you just, uh, just since we went on the air here. Uh, there's one, there's a little um, one for Herbie, too. All right, here we have Jimmy Carter pulling the donkey Herbie man. Carter saying, oh, it's a long, long time from May to November. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. See, I drew the flute in there, Bob. I didn't have too much trouble. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Good brilliant. work. Thank you very much. We'll just keep You know reading. what I want to know? <laughs> I want to know how much influence you are aware that you have, you know, on the general public, the person who opens who buys the newspaper every day and turns to page six, that's one of my favorite pages, oh, well, yes, and sees sure. this thing at the top. How do you, are you aware of, of, of that and the kind political of, influence? Yes, and the power. Uh, well, I'm aware of it when somebody rings or writes a letter, that's all. But, uh, you, know, but you don't, don't consciously oh, no, no. sit down and design anybody, something to... No, I don't think anybody draws for uh, the public, Pat, do you? I, no, I think no, you I draw don't. for yourself, and uh, if people yeah, are mellow it. enough to pick it up, well, that's how it goes. But, D if does the paper dictate to you? No, not at all. An, an, an Couldn't work under those circumstances whatsoever. Yeah. So I'd it's go fishing free. if they told me to draw what to draw. Mm. The um, kinds of things that come along in the news, right? There must be some that is more grist for the mill than others. Pat, oh yeah, what, yeah. For you, for example, what 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 just makes your mind really really tick, and what are the dry spells? Jimmy Carter. I mean, it's been a very <laughs> in general. Good, you it's mean it's been a good four years. Yeah. Uh, we lost Nixon, and I thought things would never be the same well, again. Well, you know what? It's really <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's and we, cool. then we got the Carters, and that. <laughs> well, I think family. it's great that he's colorful, and that you can use yeah. him oh, as, colorful. as a subject. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't it be boring to have someone? Well, that's great for the country. But you know what does come up too? Really, with the good things that come up, I think you'll agree with this, Bob. Obviously, we're pretty uh, sort of satirical people, and I think any scandal that comes up, uh, you know, is just lays this thing in your lap. You don't have to do much thinking at all about yeah. uh, Watergate or I Billy remember the Gates Christine Keeler affair, which is probably before your time, Roberta. But, yes, uh, definitely. Um, <coughs> you know, we had such a ball with that over all over a year because um, whenever we were dry in politics or dry in sport or something, there was always Christine there to yeah. pass What kind of mail do you get from the actual people that you're, you're drawing? Do you ever get, like, you know, a letter from Carter saying, I can't stand the way you're making me look, stop it? No, I've, I've always found that the... Am I taking up too much of the time here? That I've always found that... Um, Carry on. That... Those, <laughs> that uh, <laughs> They the, like the, it, right? The politicians with a sense of humor, they <laughs> like it. You know, they're really masochists at heart, I think, because when you're tearing them to pieces, they're the first ones to ask you for the original normally. Nixon didn't like No, no, Nixon No, that's the thing like I, I kept always A couple of others don't Nixon. either, which I won't mention so here. But, uh, oh, mention them. <laughs> Johnson loved it. Yeah, Johnson used to love it, and yet we ripped him to shreds, you know. Of course, he, took, he, he, he used to collect the uh, cartoons. The cartoons. Take a big so. tax cut from all <laughs> Robert, of all the people, oh, really? of the you candidates, that's Robert, we've got of Jimmy Carter, of John Anderson, and Ronald Reagan, who is the most difficult to draw? and make funny look. We were talking about this before. Reagan is a real problem. And yeah. I think uh, it makes me wary of a man if his character is not distinct enough to enable, too good. I mean, enable too, him to be too, caricatured. Yeah. And I think Reagan is a funny case of a man who has been a young leading man and has not quite made the transition to old majestic Orson Wellsdom, or wherever yes, yeah. you go when you're right. older. You know what happens there? It's a He's still got the, 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 the strange he hair, hair and the strange <laughs> cheap. 14 year old hairline. I was just going to say it's a matter of drawing the line, but there are so many damn lines there, you don't know where to go. Yeah. <laughs> lines, right? Well, what would you do if, uh, if either Mondale or uh, Bush came in? They're the same thing as, uh, no, no, no. as uh, Reagan. No, I don't Mondale. see Mondale is Easy. fabulous. Let me to draw that? To, to draw. To satirize? No, he's a bit bland for me, I think. I, I, uh, uh, a little bland. Um. You find Mondale bland? I mean, to draw, yes. Yeah, yeah, I think he's quite a good looking guy. It's, you know, it's difficult. Really. Yeah. It's difficult. Uh, you want to take someone who has a, some prominent feature, isn't that right. usually what it is? Well, what do you think about Mondale and, and, and I Bush? I can draw Mondale if you like. Uh, yeah, give us a sample uh, of Mondale. A few years ago, I did a... I would think, that it, I would a, think uh, that it would be easier to do a... Top of the head, yeah. you can draw Mondale. I, there you go. Yeah. Hey, you want a pen? Look isn't it yeah. easier to do a caricature of a person with a face like Mondale so that you can really maybe distort. He, he seems to have a wonderful kind of bone structure. Well, 
I mean, I'm talking about the really artistic part of it. I guess if you had it, about you know. a year at it, you could establish it. You know, it you takes really about a year. You can really mess his face up because he's such a great-looking person. <laughs> yeah, really. Mind him. Do you know well, what happens there? That's the problem. Yeah, look, he's got it straight away. Yeah. That's terrible. It's something like that. See? I hate that. We're going to see and, show you this in a second. Uh, that's very nice. And the uh, a few years ago, I did some cartoons in Rolling Stone. You Stones. practiced this, didn't you? <laughs> you did practice it. Well, I left out his ear when I was practicing. <laughs> I did some cartoons of Bondale uh, yeah, that's good. That's in Rolling yeah. Stone where I yeah. made everybody animals, and it seemed to me that uh, Walter Mondale made a pretty good Airedale. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Mondale, isn't he? That's, yeah, that's nice. That's right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> you had dogs going up on stage. You'll get to see this, folks, yeah, well, in just a maybe second. We will have dogs at one stage. <laughs> oh. Turn that them into dogs. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, it looks a bit like yes. Yeah, yeah. right. I think that's actually closer than the the, the human-looking one. But even so, <laughs> pretty good. You know what happens? Absolutely. To the, as right as Pat said, it takes pen. about a year. It takes a like while, though. What the public eventually recognizes is what a lot of cartoonists have put together as the symbol. Uh, if they ran into the guy in the street, they mightn't recognize him after two years because we've distorted him so much and taken up a, a general yeah. cartoon view of the Well, that's like the that's thing, like the see. guy that uh, imitates Carter. All he has is the teeth. Yeah. But that's enough. When, you, when they throw him out, you know, during the shows and this guy runs out. I mean, together, they're not very similar, but the teeth are close right. enough. There's yeah. one thing, I, I guess I, this should have been my first question, but it's probably going to be my last. What is political cartooning supposed to be? How would you define its role in, in papers and magazines? Period? I think it has to so stir it up and... Uh... Make Kick where you see ahead and uh, be again the government most of the time. I think you've got to be. So it's impossible to draw a pro politician cartoon. You just can't draw something that's going to flatter somebody. That's, so it's that's got not to look satire funny. at all. Yeah. But, there's, but the role of the cartoonist, the I role, think, yeah. is this um, if there's a terribly weak political opposition, then the political cartoonist steps in and becomes the opposition to the government. That's a good point. I think Let's take a break and continue idea. and yeah, look sure. at some more of your work. Like Did you like that? <laughs> Herbie and Roberta are getting fairly nice souvenirs. It's just that, yes. But isn't Herbie Man's music the best? I, I love Herbie Man's music. I love Roberta Flack. wonderful. Well, I love so both nice of you in these cartoons. And I, want to get, <laughs> I want to get to show them. How's that for a little cartoon? I love that segue. Running fast. Uh, see how, help me out with this, Let Roberta, me okay? I just want to run down some of your work, okay? We got it up here on the podium. Speak. Let's go from left uh, to right. These are some of my uh, magazine Okay, covers. Robert. Uh, Nixon, Reagan. Uh, but let's see what you did with Reagan. Just pan over to the right. That's it. This was uh, an attempt to capture the, the youthful, uh, glowing charm of Reagan, uh, which is what I think he you has going for him. Mm -hmm. uh, and today. we just we just pan over here. This this. The, what is this? An original for an this, illustration? This ran in Esquire. This uh, is Billy. Billy, uh, and little about Jimmy to down crush there. Uh, his little brother. His can you uh, see old, little brother. older brother. Yeah, I can. <laughs> now, That's this great. is good. That's this really is, good. Uh, what, four? That was a cover for the National Lampoon uh, four years ago. I had to reach back four years to give you enough stuff here. But uh, Ford and Reagan yeah. uh, uh, having a mock wrestling match is what, what that's all about. And finally, can Chrysler be saved? A sick car. It's a sick looking car. Very nice work, Robert Grossman. That was one other thing we want yeah, to point Esquire out. magazine these days is putting out a Let me uh, show this here. Oh, little newsletter at the convention. And in that, uh, I have taken to, to uh, do a cartoon. I had full of admiration for these men because they work every day, every day which right. I don't. But I did work these past four days in a row <laughs> on this strip called Pole Stars which is about a little uh, character in outer space named Jimmy Lukewater, who is uh, embattled against a dangerous-looking character named Darth Reagan, <laughs> of, of whom it is said... Jimmy Lukewater? His face, <laughs> his face has melted horribly <laughs> after years of exposure to makeup mirrors. <laughs> now, where can we pick that up, Robert? Uh, you can probably only pick it up in Madison Square Garden, oh, okay. but well, Esquire comes out every month. All right, now, Harry, I'm going to lean back here and, and, do, and do some reading on yours, okay? Let's, we already did Billy Gates. Let's start with this one here. I don't know which page six from the New York Post this is from, 
But here we see what? Jimmy this Carter. This is Mr. Nose Reagan when he was just, um, uh, knocking back the ERA. And we have and, uh, big spanking Detroit. going on. If yeah. I told you once about that young Ronnie, I told you a thousand times. And here, over here, we've got, that's one of the things I like about your work. There's always little stuff on the side, like not just a pretty face, equality now for women off to the side. And down here, on, right underneath that, another Rigby from New York Post. We got, you I got think this was all, everything was happening to Jimmy at this particular point. You got the oil prices, yeah. Israel over here. Mr. Bagan was pretty angry with him at that particular point too. Oh, oh Maney. <laughs> and he's saying, how soon to is November. November? As a matter of fact, okay. Now, take a look at some of Pat's work. Where did these appear? Washington Star originally, and then they're uh, reprinted elsewhere. All right, now this is without question, it's, it's a heavy hitter. Well, that uh, stirred up a lot of things this, uh, <laughs> this, this yes. year and past uh, year. It, um, I think it had to be mentioned yeah. though, don't you? We've got it was uh, too, Teddy too in the front absolutely. seat and uh, Jimmy came in the out. back seat. I mean, all the, the major interviews with uh, Kennedy uh, sure. uh, mentioned mm -hmm. Chappaquiddick. And here is uh, the fifth the horseman. horseman. That's great. I didn't see that. Which is uh, Khomeini yeah. as the as fifth, the fifth horseman. horseman. Mm -hmm. And this is wonderful here. <laughs> gonna whip my what? Yeah. 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 Gonna whip my what? We had Jimmy. And... Now, who is this little character that you put well, in? That's here? a penguin. I just put it in there because it gives <laughs> me a second shot at everything. I cheat a lot. That's Call it. the SPCA. That's cute. Um, and finally, this must be the place. Yeah, that's the Olympics. Um, the team arriving. Team Good arriving. Well, whatever is left of the yeah. team arriving. In it's funny because I have found, you know, the stuff you do. Hi, how are you? Thank you, Roberta. I'm you glad you're back for your help. <laughs> I love it. Those are really great. Really it's great. fun to look at that stuff on television. Did you watch it in the morning? You just have to look at it and you have to read it. And, you yeah. know, that sort of that always seems a little flat to me when you're reading captions, having produced them beforehand you know, yeah and, uh, but it isn't though when you actually see it when you're yeah, watching see it for the first time i suppose i think it was very very nifty of you to use the star wars reference you know uh, i do because yeah. a lot Apologies of people to would george lucas so yeah but a lot of people right. would would uh read you know see that and and pay attention to what the message was behind it simply because they you know can relate to it easily and quickly we are you know we're, we're out of time coming up next we've got a, a man who does other kinds of cartooning david fry who does political impressions and i'm going to do a one-on-one -on -one interview with him so i thank all of you and uh, as i said i have tremendous respect for your work and i think you frequently in one little space can say what people are thinking feeling or worrying about a lot quicker than even on the editorial so page. bring on david fry we're not yeah. scared <laughs> <laughs> Roberta, you're you're at xenon tonight for the president yes and and at the radio city music hall a week from tonight for, for everyone everybody. else right. okay. thank you and Bill. herbie on uh, the 19th i'm in westport for john anderson okay the world's going to hell. Where are you going tomorrow? <laughs> South Jersey? <laughs> David Fry coming up right after this. We'll be right back. Alan Zweibel, original Saturday Night Live writer and Thurber Prize winning author of The Other Shulman, says, The Adventures of Spike the Wonder Dog is so smart, witty, and inventive that I had to keep reminding myself that I didn't write it.